Hi guys, I understand people are having a little bit of difficulty understanding how to do the homework and the problem set on this. We're doing mirrors and we're not really solving any problems with plain mirrors. Plain mirrors are the mirrors you look in every day. Your image is behind the mirror and it's the same size and it's reversed. The thing that we need to know about that is that the image is a virtual image. Any time a body is upright in a mirror that you see it's upright, it is a virtual image. Okay, so we're going to go into concave and I didn't get to do the drawings for you on the board for these, but here's the drawing. So basically what we're looking at is we're looking at the object is upright. This is, imagine a makeup mirror. So these are like makeup mirrors. They make things bigger. And depending on where you're sitting with respect to the makeup mirror, the image will change. All right, so we've got an object placed back here. This is a center of curvature. So if we were to make this go all the way around, this would be the center. If this mirror were to be a complete circle, this would be at the center. And what you need to know is that the focal length is exactly one half of the center of curvature distance, and that's the focal length. This is the focal point, F, right here. All right, so what we have here is we have the object, and what happens is the light is reflected. It comes back through here. This is how we decide where this is going to be. The image in this case is going to be upside down between C and the mirror, and since it's upside down, it is a real image. It's real. So right here I could put the image is real. Now when you look at this one, this the difference is I've moved the object up to here to see. So this is at C. And when we do all the arrows and everything, we'll find that if your object that you're putting in front of the mirror is exactly at the center of curvature, it will be the exact same size as the object the image will be, and it will be upside down. Same size. Now imagine that we are coming, so we started here, we came to here, and now we're going to move up between C and F. If we go between C and F, now our image is back here and it is larger, it's upside down. The image is inverted, it's upside down. It's beyond C. Okay. Now imagine that the object, and this is, this is what we usually see. This is what we usually see with a makeup mirror. We are between the focal point and the mirror. And that's what makes it enlarged. And you'll notice this time the object is here. The image is beyond the mirror. It's on the other side. So the image distance will be negative. The image distance is negative. Now, we skipped when it happens here. We went from here to here. We skipped here because at this point, and if you had a concave mirror, you would see where it's blur blurry. If you got it at this exact point, you wouldn't be able to see your image at all because the image is off towards infinity and you can't see it. Now, this is the important part right here. These are the mirror equations. These are the ones you're going to be using for the problem set. So this is the mirror equation and you would have to solve it for all of these in order to find them. But what I did was I wrote them out for you. So if we were solving for DI, it's if you rearrange this using algebra, this is what you would get. The focal length times the object distance divided by the object distance minus the focal length. And that's the same, it's gonna be when you solve it for DO and when you solve it for F. And these are the different things that they are. HI is the image height. It's the size of the image and HO is the object height. And this is how you can find out if the object is being magnified. All right, so now let us go to the problem that I sent to you and we'll work it out together. I need to make sure that you can see this. I might come closer. The sun is starting to mess with me. It's starting to come into my window. So I I'm hoping you can see this okay. And if you don't, you, you might already have this copied. An object is five centimeters in front of a concave mirror whose radius of curvature is 12 centimeters. The object is two centimeters tall. So what we basically have here is we have a mirror, kind of draw this for you. 
try to anyways. So if the center of curvature is, or the radius of curvature is 12 centimeters, that means, this is C, that means that at F, our focal length is going to be six centimeters. Now look at where we're placing the object. We're placing it five centimeters. So we're placing the object here. It's one centimeter closer. So this is where the object is in front of the mirror. So the object distance, that's DO. DO, see, can you see that? Yeah. DO is actually five centimeters. F is six centimeters. Now from this example, I'm gonna show you back here, because it is between here, it's between the mirror and F, you can see that it's between the mirror and F, this is the object right here. I'm gonna label it O as the object. That means that what's going to happen is our image is going to be out here and it's going to be right side up. And we'll find that out when we go actually to do the problem. What we're looking for is the image distance di. So we want to find di. All right, guys, here we have the formula. di is equal to fdo over do minus f. di, the image distance, is equal to the focal distance times the object distance divided by the object distance minus the focal. Now you'll have the formulas in front of you, so you don't have to memorize these, which is a nice thing because they're kind of difficult to memorize. F, notice what that's little f, that represents a distance. This represents a point, capital F. So this is six times DO, which we said was five, divided by five minus six. So the image distance is going to be negative 30. Okay, I'm not worrying about sig figs right now, which means negative, this side is negative, this side is positive. This is a positive image distance, this is a negative image distance, and it's opposite of what you would think. So we know that it's on the other side of the mirror, 30 centimeters out, so it's way out here. Okay, if this, if this is six, then it's five times further away. The B part is asking us to find the image height. So we're looking for HI, the subscript I is for the image, the image height. Now, if you look back here at the image height, you'll see we have this formula right here. HI over HO is equal to minus DI over DO. So HI over HO is equal to minus DI over DO and we are looking for HI, so we're gonna multiply both sides by HO. So HI is equal to negative DI over DO times HO. Substitute in and solve for this, we are going to get the opposite. Remember that, that's just part of the, that's part of the formula. DI, which is negative 30, divided by DO, come back up here, it's five, times HO, and HO is two centimeters tall. I missed that there, I should have put that down there. The height of the object is two centimeters. And it actually says the object is two centimeters tall, so that's the height of the object, so times two. So this is going to be 60 divided by 12, or by five is 12 centimeters. And this negative negative makes it positive, which tells us that it's upright because this is positive. It's upright. It's behind the mirror. So that means that it is virtual. Virtual. Because it's right side up. Oh, here comes the sun. close to done, but I'm going to try and block the sun here. 
Got a jar of Prego. Just went to the grocery store. <laughs> All right, guys, let her see the magnification. The magnification. How much is it multiplied? Now, there's a couple different formulas that we have for the magnification. We can either use HI over HO or negative DI over DO. Either one of those would work. Let's do HI over HO. So the image height is 12 centimeters. That's what we just found there. And the object height is two. So it, the centimeters cancel and it's six times as big. And I just put an X there. So it is six times as big. This would have the effect of a, of a makeup mirror. When you look at yourself in the makeup mirror, you're enlarged, you're virtual, you're right side up. Like look at the back of a spoon. If you hold the spoon out, you're upside down until you get to a certain point, And then when you get it up close to your face, you're right side up. So this is a very good way to figure out how to, how to, not the back of the spoon. I think you'd use the front of the spoon because the back of the spoon wouldn't work that way. But anyways, I digress. Now let's take a look at this problem set that's giving you guys a hard time. Okay. A thimble is 32 centimeters from a concave mirror. So that is going to be the image distance. The focal point is 11 centimeters, that's 12. Now you don't have to convert to meters. Where is the image located? So, oops, thimble, thimble is the object, I'm sorry guys. We are looking for the image. That's what you're looking for there. What are the size and orientation of the image of the thimble from problem one if the thimble itself is 2.5 centimeters? Okay, so that's the object height. And we um, are looking to find H, what is size and orientation. So we're looking for the height of the image. So you're looking for HI in there. You're using all the information from before and magnification. Once you know those guys, you have high over ho or negative DI over DO to help you solve that. All right, this one, the child is 1.1 meters tall. That is the child's, that's the object height. That's how far they are from the concave mirror. So that's DO. The child's image is behind the mirror, so this is going to be DI. But remember, it's negative because it's behind the mirror. And we are looking then for H, the height of the image, HI. So you're just gonna be going to use, oops, you're just going to use this ratio in order to do that. Okay, and you should, you should be okay, you can solve for F. And these are just telling, just drawing a picture, just like these guys. So hopefully that clears things up for you guys. Three in the deep end of the pool and expect you to swim. I hope that uh, nobody's drowning. <laughs> Talk to you later. Take care. Bye.